Hey guys, what's up? This is G-Man, and welcome to my video tutorial on how to record super smooth gameplay from Call of Duty Black Ops. So, this is what the end result is going to look like. Five blanks standing by. Ah! Enemy jamming our radar. Five blanks standing by. Hostile RCXD spotted in your area. And as you can see, um, there's very little frame rate hitching, it's, it's very smooth, and the, the cool thing is you don't need a supercomputer to be able to record like this. So I'm going to show you how to do this, I'm going to dive right in, and the first thing you want to do is load up Fraps. And in your FPS tab, you want to make sure that Hide Overlay is enabled. Now this will stop the, the, the FPS counter. A quarter, a blah blah blah. <laughs> It'll stop it appearing in the corner of your screen, which you don't want, especially if you're uploading to YouTube. Then I'm going to head over to the Movies tab, and you want to change your destination folder to a secondary hard drive if you can. And the reason for this is that um, you don't want your computer having to play the game off off one hard drive and then record the footage to the same hard drive at the same time because that'll cripple your FPS because it's reading and writing and writing and reading and you know just generally going nuts so if you can set it to a secondary hard drive it'll help out a lot I've got mine set to my D drive uh, then you want to head over to sound capture settings and enable record window sound and make sure it's set to stereo because on YouTube you just don't get the benefit of multi-channel but it'll increase the file size which you know isn't efficient. And then we're going to go over here and make sure that 60 FPS is ticked. And you know, a lot of people can't run Black Ops at 60 FPS, but don't worry, there is method to my madness. And set this to full size. And basically that's all we need to do before we launch Black Ops, so I'm going to head right into the game. Okay, so I've got Black Ops loaded up, and what you want to do now is, is get a decent game, basically. <laughs> It doesn't matter at all what settings you use, because we're not going to be recording straight away. So use whatever works for you. You know, if you get a higher FPS with a low resolution, then do that. Um, it really doesn't matter, because we're going to be recording from theater mode. So as long as you get a decent game and you save it in theater, um, you're good to go, basically. So we're going to get to settings, graphic settings, and the idea here is we want to set these to as low as possible so we get the best possible frame rate. Uh, because in this pass we're not interested in the video, which is kind of a clue as to what we're going to be doing later. So you want to stick this down to 800 by 600, turn anti-aliasing off, uh, lock the screen refresh rate to 60 FPS if you can, so keep sync every frame on. Texture filtering automatic I guess. Uh, stick anisotropic filtering right to the bottom. Texture quality, I want to go to low, and no shadows or bullet impacts. And once you've got that set up, just click apply. But in the interest of keeping this tutorial uh, in the right aspect ratio, I'm going to keep the settings how they are. So once that's all set up, you just want to load up your game from theater mode. So I want to do this game of launch. So I'm just going to start this film. Okay, so I'm here in theatre mode, and I skipped ahead to 9 minutes 50, because I joined this game late, and that's where I started. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you're not starting your recording from the beginning, make sure you remember the time code exactly to where you started from. If you press left and right, you can move between 10-second um, intervals. So, I'm going to start mine from 9.50, and you want to set it up how you want to record basically. So I'm in first person and you want to record at normal speed. Make sure it's at normal speed, that's important. Press, in fact it doesn't really matter if you hide the controls, you can just press um, space and your record key at the same time. Um, by record key I don't mean R, I mean your fraps record key. So I'm going to press them at the same time or as close as you can. So one, two, three, Oh, 
Hostile RCXD spotted in your area. Enemy care package inbound. Do not let this happen again, comrades. Okay, so end of the recording now. And yeah, it's pretty smooth anyway, but um that's not the point. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's a little bit of overhang after the match finishes. So keep recording a little bit after just in case you need to trim anything or neaten anything up at the end. Okay, so uh when you're done, press your record key again to stop recording. And then we're just going to quit back to the desktop basically. So Okay, so I've alt tabbed back here to the desktop and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change a couple of frap settings before we jump back into Black Ops. So everything's going to stay the same here apart from you can disable sound actually if you want to save on uh, hard disk space. I'm going to leave it on there. Um, but we want to go down here to the custom uh, FPS setting and set this to 12 and then make sure that lock frame rate is ticked. And that's all we need to change really, uh, make sure everything's the same and then jump straight back into the game. Okay, back here at the menu and this is where your graphic settings are going to count so we're going to get to settings and we're going to change them to look the best that we can so um, if you want to record in 720 HD the resolution you want to use is 1280 by 720 if you want to record in 1080 um, then you want to do 1920 by 1080 um, they're the only HD formats that YouTube supports so unless you want black bars um, stick with one of those. Uh, you want full screen yes, um, anti-aliasing I'm gonna stick this up all the way up to 16 because uh, it looks smooth as hell at 16. Um, aspect ratio the same I'm gonna leave uh, screen syncing uh, in fact I should probably take that off yeah um, texture filtering as high as it'll go anisotropic filtering as high as it'll go, texture quality extra, bullets and shadow impacts, yes. And uh, don't worry if your PC can't normally support these settings, um, there is still uh, a little bit of magic to be done, so click apply, um, I'm just going to leave these how they were, and then head back into your recording. So launch, here we go. Okay, so I'm back here in theatre mode and I've already skipped ahead to 950, which is where I started last time. And what you want to do is press the down arrow until the speed goes down to 0.2, which is a fifth of the of the original speed. So your computer has five times longer to think about everything and it's only going to be recording at 12 FPS. So even if you don't have an amazing computer, this should uh, still record well at 12 FPS. So once you've got that sorted, you where you want to be, press F1 to toggle the controls so they're away, and then once again you've got to press record and play at the same time. So, three, two, one, go. RCXD spotted in your area. Enemy care package inbound. Okay, so the recording's finished now. I've hit the um, stop recording key and I'm gonna quit to my desktop again so right so I've quit out the game and I've realized that this tutorial is going on for quite a long time so <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm going to end this part here. Make sure you go check out part two.